Hello everybody! In this session we're going to be looking at what is a network. So a nice definition of what is a network is two or more devices that are connected. Now I purposely use the word devices there because a lot of people think that it has to be a computer, like a desktop computer to be a network, but that's not true. That's why we use the word devices because it's more of a generic term for like, different kinds of devices like laptops, phones and that kind of thing. And in terms of what a network actually is used for and what it does, they are used to share information and resources. So we've got some advantages and disadvantages of using a network. So the advantages, you can share your files with each other easily. Working in a school, it's much easier to share my files with all the students because I can just put them into one place on the network and all of the students can find that file nice and easily. So I find it a massive advantage of using a network by sharing files. As I mentioned earlier, sharing hardware, so any printers that you might have, you might just have one printer in the room or in the building and everyone shares that one printer because no matter where you are, if you send your work to print, you can get it from that one printer rather than every single computer having its own printer, which will be a massive cost. So depending on the type of network that you've got, you can have user accounts. So if you come in and you sit at one machine, then you can log in which is ideal if you come in and the computer's not working or if maybe you've been moved in a new seating plan and that kind of thing, you can still access all of your work. And from a technician point of view, a technician will find it much easier to install software on all of the devices on the network because they can just do it centrally and to all of the computers that are part of the network or selected computers. And that includes any updates as well. So disadvantages of a network. It's expensive to set up a network because you've got to buy network hardware, which is it's a really big cost initially. And also an expert is often required. And when I say expert, I'm talking about a network technician who will actually set up the network and maintain it. And also another disadvantage is viruses can affect multiple devices. Okay, so we're just going to talk about two different types of network now. And the first one is uh, a LAN. So what is a LAN? So LAN stands for Local Area Network. So as a nice definition of what a LAN is, so if you were asked on your exam, uh, explain what is meant by a LAN, that would be a two mark question. You would answer something like, devices that are connected in a small geographical location within one mile on a single site. That single site bit at the end is quite important. That, that on its own can get you an extra mark. So a local area network can be wired or wireless. And you will often find them in places like schools and small businesses. Now, one important feature of a LAN as well is that the companies or schools or businesses themselves will own the cables or, and hardware for the LAN. So they will have actually paid for all of their network cables, all of the, uh, the switches and the servers and so on. But the other type of network we're looking at today is a WAN. So what is a WAN? It stands for Wide Area Network, or sometimes Wider Area Network. What we mean by that, as a definition, is devices that are connected over a large geographical location. And as you can guess, it's kind of the opposite of a land because it's over one mile and it's across multiple sites. So, so it could be that there, you have like a huge business and the business has got sites in different parts of the country or it may, may be over different countries across worldwide but they're all linked together by it could be through satellite links or radio links telephone lines and so on now because the company themselves won't own something like telephone lines they will have to hire these lines to be able to connect their network together and that's a huge cost if you're setting up a one okay so some exam questions to practice so we've got explain two advantages of using a network. Mr. Moore wants to set up a network for his small business. What type of network would this be? Justify your answer. Explain what is meant by a WAN and state two disadvantages Mr. Moore may face when setting up a home network. So I'm gonna give you the chance to pause this now and then we'll go through the answers. Okay, let's go through the answers then. So explain two advantages of using a network. So your first one you could have had was sharing files. Uh, users can easily share files to work collaboratively. So you got one mark for writing sharing files and then the, the little bit afterwards is the explanation which we'll get the second mark for. Uh, sharing hardware, for example printers, this will reduce cost as an explanation. And finally, user accounts, login from any device in the network. 
So that would be enough for the second mark, but if you wanted to go into more detail, you could put, if a computer stops working, the user can move to another computer and still access their work. Mr. Moore wants to set up a network for a small business. What type of network would this be? Justify your answer. So it would be a local area network, which is within one building, small geographical location, not across multiple sites. And as a final reason to justify it, it will allow file sharing between colleagues. So explain what is meant by a WAN. It's a wide area network across multiple sites over a large distance. And finally, state two disadvantages Mr. Moore may face when setting up a home network. So the cost to set up the network initially and may possibly need an expert to set up the network. And that's it for this session. I'll see you next time.